Hey everyone, it's Ryan Yee of Nerdboy TV, and welcome back to our show. And uh, I just wanted to share something that happened with me over the weekend. Um, in case you have one of those old computers at home and you're wondering, should you donate it, junk it, what should you do? Well, let me tell you, now that everything is supposedly moving toward the cloud, you should be able to salvage that dual core processor computer if you if you follow some simple steps. So my daughter has a new laptop. She doesn't need her old um, Acer Aspire T180 computer. Uh, so let me tell you the specs of this computer. It has Windows Vista Service Pack 2. Whoa. Uh, dual core processor 360 with 2 gigahertz um, and 1 uh, gigabyte of RAM a whopping one gigabyte of RAM. I think it has less than 200 megabytes of, um, or yeah, 200 gigabytes of storage on the hard drive. So needless to say, this is kind of a clunky computer. So I took it off her hands and I thought I'd just kind of walk you through how you could salvage it if you uh, want to try. First of all, if I were you and you're able to, I would just wipe the hard drive clean and start with a new install of Windows, preferably Windows 7. Um, I don't have a copy of Windows 7, uh, at least a retail version, so I'm kind of stuck with Vista. Um, but Vista's okay as long as you have nothing on it and you're just going to use it for the internet. But I would wipe the hard drive clean, start all over, and just put a new version of Windows in. If you're like me and you have to uh, work from an existing operating system, definitely use your uninstaller, uh, which you can get at this website right here. Uh, get that, it removes programs. You wanna remove everything off of there. Any junky um, America Online stuff, <laughs> whatever you might have on there. And just uninstall it. Uh, the, your uninstaller does a good job of going into the registry and removing everything. So it's a nice, clean uninstall. Um, you might also want to use um, CC Cleaner. That's a free one. You can get it at this website right here. And that also does a good job of cleaning um, junk files, temporary files, backup files. Uh, get them all off of that hard drive. And it also cleans any registry errors. And it's a freebie. So um, I would use that for sure. The next thing I would do is I would switch to the Google Chrome browser. Uh, for the longest time, I've been avoiding it because I just didn't want to learn another browser. I was kind of happy with Firefox. Um, Internet Explorer's come a long way, but let me tell you, with the new Chromebooks that are coming out and they're basing their whole operating system around the Chrome browser, you can get a jump start if you install the Chrome browser onto your computer, your old computer, and you'll find that it runs really, really fast. Um, the moment that you uh, boot up the computer, it'll look like this. And um, that's the browser. You can see that they have their own apps uh, that you can install, very much like the Apple iStore, but they call it the Web Store. You can find a lot of cool programs on there. So um, you get it all set up like I do right here. I have my Gmail, have my Facebook, my Twitter account. Everything's installed right there on the first browser page. So when you start up your computer, you go right into your Chrome browser and voila, you have like a new operating system. So um, that's kind of a real quickie, quickie thing, but I'll tell you, I'm uh, real happy with how my daughter's computer turned out. I have it uh, sitting on the, oh, one more thing, I'm sorry, most important thing. Don't go wireless, uh, do a hot wire connection directly into your modem with an ethernet cable into the computer and you will see speeds that you won't believe. Um, the processing speed of the computer really doesn't matter that much uh, unless you're processing things on the computer. But I'll tell you, if you're on the internet and you're just using the browser, you're going to see tremendous speeds with the ethernet um, cable connected to the modem directly into the computer. And that's that. So in simple five steps, you can get a pretty fast computer out of that old junky one that you were going to dump. Okay. Give it a try, see what you think, and come back and see Nerdboy TV again, okay? This is Ryan Yee. Have a great week.